Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk a bit about Sandy Lachese, GFI, Revolte, what happened at both of that companies. And then I also want to talk about a trader that threw Sandy Lachese under the bus by saying Sandy Lachese trades demo accounts. <laughs> Before this video goes any further, I just want to be the first person that asks the question For how many years have Sandile Shezi been 23 years old? Because when I look at things, in 2015 there's a CGTN video on YouTube From 2015 that states it's 23 There's an article in 2016 There's an article in 2017 And an article dated from 3 years ago So if you deduct 3 minus 2021 what do you get 2018 so how long has this guy been 23 <laughs> okay so the next thing i want to talk about is sandy lechese and his role at gfi he co-owned this company with george van der Riet, and already there by him co-owning this company with george van der Riet, that is already a big big red flag when you dive into George van der Riet, you will see that this guy is a very controversial figure from in England who spent some time in jail. And when you look at how Sandy Lachese speaks about it, it seems like he doesn't want to acknowledge it or he's dismissive of it. But either way, that to me is really, really shady. Now, when I looked a little bit further because um, Jeff I was started a while back, when I tried to look further, there wasn't anything in particular that I could find on GFI. So I went to the number one review website in the world, Hello Peter. And when I got into Hello Peter, I got the shock of my life. Now, going through these things, you know, this just shows the harsh reality what people is dealing with when they are dealing with these forex companies. Now, the first review that I want to pull up is a review by Judy M. And this person states how they paid 24,000 Rand for a useless program. 24,000 Rand, guys. Please let me know in the comments what you can do with 24,000 Rand. The next review that I want to pull up is a review by Sia Bonga M. And as you can see, this is a really heartfelt review, as you can see by the title already. But what he says is that he paid 10,000 Rand and it didn't even turn out to be what he paid for because in the end in the end it was a case of people in the group who paid was helping each other the next review that i want to bring up is a review by nq probably just initials but this person and i actually feel really sad and this is a really really harsh reality that people have to deal with he feels big time let down because he paid someone ten thousand rand that was gonna help him better his financial future but we is at at that moment of writing that review dude couldn't even afford a 10 rand taxi ride now that is really sad and when you look at the fact that this is a reoccurring theme it's just sad and i mean you can obviously guess what happened next that man jumped ship and he started a whole different company Rivalte. What made people pay attention to Rivalte is the fact that they had a take profit tour. Now, why I say it's under Rivalte, it's because the payments was made to Rivalte. Now, under this take profit tour was Sandy Lachese, Kenneth John, and DJ Spoo. Now, the crazy part about this is that obviously to me, DJ Spoo knows nothing about forex trading. So, for me, he's just there. At that specific point in time, he's just there to draw a crowd and probably to host the whole gig, you know. But for me, the thing is, and as I was looking further, um, in the course itself, in the master class itself, you can see that DJ Spoo is not teaching anything. So him being on the flyer was literally just to bring out the crowd. DJ Spoo is a very very successful DJ, radio DJ first of all, is a very successful TV host as well and then also when you look at how he made noise by promoting his own energy drink more fire, you can just imagine, you can just imagine how many people bit onto the fact that whoa, or how many people took to the fact that Santile is legit because there is 
on a pamphlet next to DJ's boo. Now, you can prove DJ's boo's wealth, but can you prove these other two guys' wealth? Okay, so when you look at the perks at the masterclass often, you will see that there's a trading masterclass event that you get access to. And then also there's copy trading that you get access to. Now, copy trading is where you put your money into an account. This gets linked to Sandile and Kenneth John's account. They trade the account and then whatever proceeds they make, you make on your account as well. So this really helps with the earn while you learn uh, program I would say in Forex that everyone is trying to you know advertise and with people really buying into the fact that Sandile Shazi is a legit trader people bought into it and this was when accounts blew this was when accounts blew now the crazy part about this is for them to be able to give the service they had to be registered with the FCA they were not and this is when the FCA made a public warning against Sandy Lechezi and Rivolte. And they also say why the warning is listed like that. Now, there's a whole lot of people that bought into the trading masterclass. And when I asked them a few questions, they were really, really unsatisfied with the service. Now, when you look at the fact that on the trading masterclass pamphlet, they advertised a 2000 Rand funded account when you look at that let me tell you guys according to the people in the group that was blown and then according to this one specific gentleman he reloaded money again and then that was blown as well now this guy was promised a refund like most of the other people and as you can see here's um check evidence of it and the crazy part is up until today, it was just the 3,000 Rand that this guy was looking for. He wasn't even looking for the masterclass money because, you know, some people take things differently. For him, the 10,000 Rand was well spent because he learned something from Sandy Lechese. But we really felt like he was let down was the fact that he then added an extra 3,000 Rand to this whole trading thing. And then they promised him, copy trading thing, they promised him a refund and they just ne never came through. Up until today, they never came through. Now, another thing that I also found really saddening, right, is the fact that there's a guy in the group named um, Mustafa, right? Let's say a few days before the masterclass was to happen. Now, this is why, this is why, guys, I'm going to go through a few red flags in the pamphlet shortly but this is why when someone say limited seats available you do not buy in you do not buy in they are creating a scarcity idea with you that lets you know that if you don't buy in right now you're gonna lose that seat so this is what happened with mustafa he bought in but then the saddest thing that happened to him was he lost his mother he requested a refund. What do you guys think happened? What do you guys think happened? They told him no. They told him no. So to me, that is really, really insane. Because once again, what is a 10,000 rand to a millionaire? This guy didn't even stake the trading masterclass. I would maybe understand if Sandile Shazi was going to say, Okay, listen here, I'm going to give you partial money because we've started with the course already but nothing started there was no handing over of knowledge or information to this guy yet he just wanted his money back so that he can contribute to his mother's funeral can you imagine how heartbroken he must have been a whole lot of you might have think i am crazy when i made that video about white label brokers where the broker make a demo real account for this specific trader that has great influence within the forex industry it's a fake demo account all he has to do is post profits and the profits is fabricated please go and look at that video that i made about white label brokers the profits is fabricated you will always see blue screens you will never see losses and then that always gets 
pushed to Instagram. Now that will then tell the viewer, the follower on Instagram, but hey, this guy is really profitable. I must sign in. Look here, yesterday was profitable. Today was profitable. Last week it was profitable. No, 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 no. I need to get in here. And then in the meantime, it's a demo account. Friend of the channel and trader we, who we've exposed before, Prince Mazibuko had this to say about white label brokers and sand dealers. So basically, as you heard there, Prince Mazibuko just literally threw Sandile Shezi under the bus there and he even apologized for it because he knows that Sandile Shezi is probably going to get really angry for this. And if people had to pay attention to that specific live exchange, if people had to pay attention to that specific video, they would actually click that at some seminars they were sold on phantom money on fake money on demo money and that is just really bad considering the fact that this guy flaunts cars like maseratis ferraris you know helicopters in your face very often so as i'm coming on to my conclusion you know for me it's just a sad case at the fact that number one the media stringed it for so long that this guy is 23 years old now granted it might not be his own doing but that is just a bad thing as this was adding a whole lot of pressure on a whole lot of people and as you can see some even came out to say that they was a millionaire at 19. the next conclusion that i wanted to make was on jfi as well now when you look at the reviews on jfi you will see that people really started to mistrust what was happening in that company and that is the whole reason why sandile shezi then jumped ship now when you look at all of the reviews that people made you can okay let me just say this this was just three reviews that i took from that whole list there's quite a few i will link it in the description the page with all of the reviews and you can go have a look for yourself and verify what i'm saying for yourself but when you look at the widespread feel of the reviews that's there you will see that people were not happy with what was happening at gfi which is why which is why i guess sandile shezi then jumped ship to start revolte revolte in itself was a really really unfortunate thing because when you look at the fact that this thing grabbed the attention of the fsca by what they were doing this is already a red flag none of them were registered to do copy trading and when you look at the fact that accounts on accounts was blown it's crazy to me that people now would just like hand their money over to account managers and i'm not making an example about him only there's so many account managers in south africa that after they received people's money and they blown it they don't even come back to talk to the people with the prince masipuko throwing sandile shezi under the bus thing guys all i have to say about that is i told you so the last conclusion that i want to talk about is about prince masipuko throwing sandile shezi under the bus now it's not only with sandile shezi that this is happening guys when you see a trader recommending a broker on every post when you see just blue screens on every post guys please beware because they do not ever tag that this is an ad whenever a broker have paid you to represent them you have to write their ad and this is what a whole lot of traders do not do you just see them tagging them recommended broker so and so recommended broker so and so you will see them out eating a burger recommended broker so and so you will see them out driving a car recommended broker so and so why why do they need to tell you so many times they have to keep on reminding you that they are trading with that broker so all of this all of this guys has just been awareness to the max a whole lot of you might have thought that i'm talking crap by that white label broker thing because how can you make a real account that is actually a demo account but then now you actually hear prince majibuko throwing this man under the bus for it because this is a thing that's been running between the famous instagram traders for a very long time 
Thanks for watching.